Welcome back to the channel guys, good to see you. I'm going to do an unplanned, impromptu video talking about drawing towels. I haven't done a video like this for ages. Do you recognise this box? This will separate people new to the channel with people that have been watching for about four years or whatever. Um, so many years ago I did a video called the best drying town. Just went and bought a ton of drying towels. Tested them in all sorts of sort of funny ways that I thought were relevant. Use them wet, use them dry, measure how much water they can take, measure how much they cost, talk about their format, their density, everything. And then come up with a winner and a loser and all that sort of stuff in a very competitive kind of shootout format. That's kind of what I what I that is kind of what I was doing on YouTube that no one else was doing. Uh, now lots of people are doing it unfortunately, but never mind. Let's not let's not get negative. Um, so I have all these drying towels in here. Let's go back and refresh ourselves. So this is the one that won that competition. That is the KKD. Well, no, it's not the KKD. It's the Liquid Elements. It's sold by KKD, I think. It was the Liquid Elements Silverback, which is just like a coral fleece type towel. Uh, I think it's two towels stuck together, bordered with a nice absorbent felt kind of what do they call this? What do they call this suede microfiber, I think. Um, and it was 13 quid. And look, it's still soft now. I don't haven't used this much. Probably only used this about five or ten times, something like that. It's very good condition, all of these towels. Um, and this one, what's cool about it, it didn't stick down on the paintwork like some of the other towels, because it's just got a shallow, dense kind of carpet-like nap. So it just kind of floated a little bit more on the paintwork, although it can stick when it starts to get wet a little bit. But I thought this was the worthy winner, especially at the price point. <clears throat> Decent towel. Um, and it's still sold today, I think, although it might be a bigger version of it. It's always like bigger is better, but this is actually this is actually just about the right size as well. It'll do a car, and at that point it's kind of wet and it becomes less efficient when it gets wet. But look at that, about the right size, isn't it? So, let's have a look. These these over here are the ones I'm using now. We'll talk about that a little bit later. And there's that auto glim one. So let's have a look. What came second? Can you remember? I can remember. This will test it. But let's not, I have to dig it out. So let's just pull some random ones out. This is, I think this is the dodo juice. I don't even know what it's called. What is this one called? Um, dodo juice, I don't know. I mean, it's a decent decent enough towel. Essentially, it's very similar to like the Auto Bright towel, isn't it? It's very, very I'm, a, I'm different now to how I was when I first started the channel. These are basically more or less giving you exactly the same, even if they're not the same, you know, without trying to, um, I'm not revealing anything you don't know by saying none of these companies make their own towels, none of them. So these may well come from the same place, who knows. Decent towels, square size. I just think perhaps you're, you you get better value when you buy a bigger one, you know. And um, the nap isn't quite the same either as this. These aren't, these don't look like they're coming from the same place. Who knows though? Who knows? But these were half decent towels. This one here, oh, this was the purple, what was it called? Monster, is it Monster Madness? Is that the name of it? Monster Madness or Monster Microfiber? I can't remember. I think it's Monster Microfiber that Clean Your Car was selling. It's a bit of a strange company, this Monster Microfiber, because if, if this is the one that I'm thinking of, they never had like a proper website or... So I don't know what the deal is with this Monster Microfiber brand. Maybe it's just like a small thing that someone set up. But um, who knows? I thought this this towel, they do a buffing cloth version of it. And it's not quite... The quality of it's not quite as good. It just doesn't feel quite soft. Even now, it feels a bit rougher. Um, but it's quite thick. It's edgeless. It's by no means a disaster. And some people like it. And the results with it are quite good. So I think I, th I think I said this was half decent. But it didn't win or anything like that. And we're really only interested, aren't we, in the sort of top runners, unfortunately. This. Can you guess what this one is? 
this will test you, this will test you, can you guess what this is? This is a chemical guys, woolly mammoth. So I feel this is quite kind of like a really good drying tower actually, I really used to like it. Especially for the first sort of three or four months they're at their best and they, they do deteriorate these towers, the microfiber just gets kind of clogged up after a while. But this was a very popular towel because it was big. Though it's not big by today's standards. There's like ridiculously huge ones like blankets now. Um, it's 80-20. It was a reasonably priced. It holds a lot of water. But I felt this was a better towel, much better value. And just denser. You can sort of feel it. This is sort of a little bit shaggier, a little bit of a longer nap on it. Not that it makes too much difference, but... Yeah, I can see none of these towels. I would buy this towel rather than any of these so far. Now here we have, do you know what this one is, guys? Do you know what this one is? This will test you. This one, guys, is the Car Pro one. And this was the biggest towel they did at the time. And you can see the size of my hand. It's a, it's a hand towel, really only good for door shuts and stuff. So it was never able to win. It's nice and soft, this one, though. Korean, this is a good quality towel. Um, decent towel, this is. But... Um, just a little bit too small so it's never going to win unfortunately unless you had a real preference for a small towel but still this would be the one out of all of them so far that i would pick what have we got here this will test you what towel is this thing guys come on this will test the real this will test who's the real microfiber uh, geeks this is the rag company avalanche Look at that, a little bit of staining on there. Don't know how that happened. Probably, probably when I washed it with a newer towel. Uh, got a bit of transfer there. This is a bit like a buffing cloth. Um, slightly different to their eagles. A bit like a buffing cloth. A um, bit floppy, a bit of an unusual long shape actually. A bit too long. Although some might like that. You, could, you can do the fold there. I thought this was a really nice... I thought this, this is a higher quality town, these Chinese ones. The microfiber quality is better. You, you always get that with the Korean microfibers. Just the fibers are actually better. But they don't sell this anymore. Discontinued and, it, and it's a single sided thing, that's it. It doesn't hold as much water as towels like this in my opinion. So I would still pick this one. This one you'll recognise, the Pluffle. These are a Marmite towel, you either love them or hate them. Decent, decent enough drying towel, but I don't see the point of all the waffle underneath so much. I don't know, I don't know. Waffle weaves, waffle weaves, not too keen on these. I find they, when they're wet, they lose all their horsepower and they become streaky and they can miss bits as well. But the great thing with these, these are great on glass because you can really wipe them without getting all the little bits of kind of micro linting that you won't see unless you've got the right lights. There's a place for waffle weaves, but there's no nap on them. So if you encounter dirt, I don't think they're quite safe. This was the, um, what's it called? Uber drying towel, I think. And it's just like a sack. Um, it, it's like, oh, what's that? That's not mold, is it? I haven't had this open for a long time. It's like a sack and it's stitched in the middle and it kind of comes away. I mean, the stitching and all that just thought wasn't wasn't great quality to fold it over and just put a couple of stitches you know there's better quality ones but if, if that had been a bit bigger the microfiber on it's still nice but just didn't like the way it was a sack the auto finesse one I quite like this towel people say that it's a it's a lint monster well maybe it just, just depends on what batch you get but don't have too many major problems with lint but on this towel but the more you use it you're going to get a build-up of contamination and lint so it's probably going to come more sort of linty the more you use it very soft very shagging kind of quite nice but it does drag a little bit and bite to the paintwork stick down because of that perhaps but it's, i still think it's quite a decent drying towel that this one here microfiber madness just a bit again the quality of the microfiber is lovely i can tell straight away it's korean you can just feel it so nice so dense this towel this is right this is similar to the silverback but we're stitching but really nice quality when it's white you can see all the bits in it as well which is quite useful 
uh, their qu- microfiber madness do great quality microfiber just a little bit on the pricey side so that's a very good tail that one the this one is the this is Jeff's one prestige yellow this is a diamond weave tail no one talks about these anymore a lot of people used to use these because you can use it all day long but you don't have the nap on it so I just like that soft fluffy nap so if I go over dirt I know it's going to be sunken into the nap whereas the nap on this is smaller so I think you know there's less cushioning as well this towel is going to give you a ton of cushioning with your hand so I just don't favor this towel but it's all about personal preference the cool thing is it's different to all the others so it gives you another thing to talk about you know um, quite good it's a bit similar in concept to the kind of this but the auto glim one but this is totally different physically that is a towel from that Andy sent me from Clean Your Ride. That wasn't in the, the review, it was just in another video. Very great, I don't know if he still sells them, but he sold them cheap. They were about 10, 11 quid. And these were, so it's a warp knit towel, one single sided warp knit towel. And these were the original Gion Silk Dryer, single sided warp, warp knit towel. And the Fireball, Fireball, I think it's called the Jet or the Black Fox, I can't remember what it's called. You don't hear anything about Fireball now. I don't know what's going on with them. They, were, they had so much potential, that brand, and some good chemicals and stuff. They just needed like someone banging the bells and whistles to grow it and get like the um, accreditation side going in the UK. Get loads of professionals accredited and using it, then it starts building its own momentum. But I don't know. I think you can still buy the products. Quite a cool brand, um, but I'm just not sure if they're going to be around to stay in the UK. It'd be a shame if they're not because they, they're interesting. Most of the stuff out of Korea is good. Rob sent me this from, um, Rob Inglis sent me this from Duker. It's just another little mini Korean drying towel. I don't know if it's still available. This is years ago, so that's kind of cool. Um, but these these um, Gion ones and the Fireball ones came second. They might have won. What do I use nowadays? Well, before I go on to that, you've also got this Auto Glim drying towel now that I don't personally favor it's a trade tool in my opinion guys i know some guys in the trade love it and use them and <laughs> because they get the car clean and they use one of these all day long and then they just give it a wash out at the end of the day and it's ready to go for the next day um rather than having a big pile of these you know but the disadvantage of using something that's semi-wet like a chamois it's almost like a chamois you don't get that bone dry thing so you use this tool to get 99 percent of the um, water, you see it absorb it, that was a little pool over here. You get 99% of the water off with this very quickly, then go back with a cloth, you know, with some detail spray, which just makes sense. What do I use? I use the double-sided inter-detailing warp knit, and I just lay this down. You don't buff with these warp knits, that's the key thing to understand. They're, they're not soft and fluffy as these sorts of towels, but they just suck, soak up the water, and they don't stick to the, um, panel I find so you can just lay them down drag them over and stuff like that so it's all good really like these some people don't and then these I use on the door shots where I'm doing a little bit more buffing and wiping and stuff like that um, where I don't want to be wiping this sort of towel I just prefer these I don't think you can get little mini ones of these or yeah you can actually you can but these are Korean great quality and very very cheap about £3.95 for little dense 1200 or 1000 GSM drying towels so these are the two that I would suggest you use if you don't like this these warp knits then use the silverback over here which I still say is, is the best of the lot here so if you don't like warp knit use the silverback with a few of these mini ones or you could just use silverbacks to do the door shuts and stuff if you don't want mini towels and spin that round there you have it guys just thought it'd be interesting to revisit this not really using these towels don't know what to do with them might do some sort of um promotional giveaway something like that you know like a subscriber giveaway or something like that um we will see so thanks for watching what's your favorite drawing towel guys what are you using a lot of people interesting uh, interesting <laughs> so many thoughts on microfiber and stuff like that I remember many years ago I said that these were going to become the standard and they kind of they've become very popular um, the industry you know it takes a while to catch up and most of the industry 
these other people watching what's happening and if it goes something goes well then they all the companies jump in and offer them so everyone seems to wait for someone else to have some success um so it's the companies that take a risk i think that should get rewarded but the problem is with microfiber with a microfiber if something's good if you can get your hands on it someone else can as well so you've, you're on borrowed time with your your with having the initiative with anything really so um thank you for watching let me know what your favorite drying towel is and why and uh, i'll see you soon guys bye for now